Hello, John Myers here with Kicker in the Global Training Department. Today I want to talk to you about the efficiency of an amplifier. Now an amplifier takes power in, converts it to music, but there's some lost power in there that gets wasted as heat. That's why you have a heat sink on an amplifier. So I'm going to show you a way to actually measure the efficiency of your amplifier with a couple simple tools, some of which you may have in your shop, some of which you might not have. It would be very easy to find. So Power, as we're talking about, is voltage times current. So we can measure the voltage at the amplifier and the current coming into the power supply to see how much power is coming into the amplifier. To measure the output power of the amplifier, we want to take the power formula, which is going to be voltage squared at the speaker output, divided by the resistance. Now we can't use a speaker for this. We need to use a lab grade resistor. We're going to use a two ohm resistor. The reason it has to be lab grade is because it does not change with temperature and it will not change with frequency as a speaker enclosure does. Once we have those two numbers, to get the efficiency we can divide the power out by the power in and that will give us the efficiency of the amplifier. So let's see what we come up with. For this test we're going to use several pieces of test equipment. One is a good power supply that has an amp meter on it. That tells us how much amperage the power supply is producing. We have a voltmeter attached to the voltage input on the amplifier. We have a frequency generator connected to the RCA input and we've got an oscilloscope which will show the output voltage and it'll show us the sine wave to see if we're in clipping or not. The final thing we have is our lab grade resistor bank. This one's a little overkill but we use it for a lot of different powers of amplifiers. So that will give us a steady 2 ohm load at any frequency and any temperature. So now what we have, we have the power supply turned on. We're at about 14.45 volts. We have six amps of current drawn. We're at 50 hertz in frequency. And if you notice, we have a nice simple sine wave with about five volts on the output. Let's crank up the input signal to see how much power we can produce out of this amplifier. If we watch the oscilloscope, when this starts to flatten out, you'll see that little flat point. That means I am at clipping. So the maximum output of this amplifier is 59.7 volts. We still have 147 amps of current drawn at 14.4 volts. Multiply these two numbers together. That will give us our input power. Square this number, divide it by 2 for the 2 ohms. That will tell us our output power. Then we can divide the power output by the power input to see the efficiency. Gives us 2,124 watts of total input power. So that's power in. Now for power out, we take 59.6 volts times itself. And then we're going to divide that by 2 ohms. Gives us 1776 watts of power out. That is a 1500 watt amplifier. It's doing 1776. That's pretty good, but let's figure out the efficiency. So let's take this number, 1776, divide it by the 2124 gives us 83% efficiency. That's the total efficiency of that amplifier. That means 17% of this number becomes heat. The higher this number is, the less we have of heat, the more you get for music. So let's do the same test with a newer amplifier. So for this demonstration, we're going to compare the ZX1500.1, which is a Class D amplifier, to the new Kicker KX1200.1. It's a little less power, but this has got our K-Drive boost converter technology, which is a lot more efficient. So even though we're going to have a difference in power output, we should still see a big efficiency improvement. So let's go ahead and hook this amplifier up and compare its performance with that of the 1500.1. Now we have 14.4 volts. Let's turn up the output of the signal generator and watch the oscilloscope till we reach clipping. Voltage is getting higher right about there. That's clipping on this amplifier, so 52.2 volts. Let's see what type of output power we have. If we look down here, we have 14.45 volts at 103 amps of current being drawn. So let's do the math to calculate our input and output power. We have 14.45 volts again 
at 103 amps of current, which is going to give us 1,488 watts of power, and that's the power in. Our output, so that's 52.2 volts, we're going to square that and then divide that number by 2, 1,362 watts. Take the 1,362, divide it by 1,488, we've got 91% efficiency versus the conventional Class D. So that means 8% more of that amplifier's output power is being wasted as heat. It's also putting more demand on your electrical system. So that's the advantage of the K-Drive boost converter. Higher efficiency, smaller amp, less heat, less draw on your electrical system. So what we've done, and we've shown you how you can test your actual power output of your amplifier simply with a couple test meters and a lab grade resistor. If you notice something else, this is a 1200 watt amp versus a 1500 watt amp. That's literally less than half the size. That's because of the efficiency. Higher efficiency, smaller amplifier, more power.